once again, you find out at the red corner. Representing Sorcha and Kevin Timmin from Dominic Kakasta. It's a run! Chester! And your referee for this one is Steve Brown. Well, the fight's about to keep on coming. This time, the Muay Thai Grand Prix Intercontinental title, 63.5 kilos. Wojciech Oleksik in the white trunks, black gloves, Ryan Chesters. Red trunks, red gloves. Five three-minute rounds. Here we go. A lot of love for Ryan Chester's as he entered the ring. Nice work in the clinch there from Chester's. Oh, both trying to get that elbow away. Yep, A-class rules. Knees and elbows allowed to the head. Alexic just getting his feet a bit close there. Not able to get any power in those shots. Hands there from Alexic, not really getting through, but just going through the motions, throwing those combinations. Very even at the start here. Chester's just looking a little bit more competent in the clinch out the two, but on the outside they're a bit tit for tat, one for one. Nobody really edging it for me on the outside. Chester's changing stance. Nice elbow there. And again. Yeah, but he's under the arm, so it's never going to really work from there. Makes a crowd cheer, though. <laughs> oh, nice shot from Alexic. Finally gets that left hand away. Seems to duck into it to generate extra power, though. That's something he's going to be careful of, but he's going to have to be careful of. And he took the back there nicely, kneeing round the back. Did the next seat. As he goes for that right elbow again, Chester's. towards the end of round one. Yeah, Blue Corner's hands look more dangerous than his kicks at the moment. Well timed there.
Round so, two, yeah. high hands is the final instruction from Ryan Chester's corner. As a reference to Alexis. Dynamite left, but he doesn't want to be on the envelope. Just catch this one on the way in there, Chester's. Body kick there from Chester's in his corner, congratulating him on that. They want him to walk in and kick the body. There it is again, left body kick. And again, that's the shot they're saying. To be fair, it's, it's unblocked and unanswered at the moment. And no one really able to impose themselves too much on this fight. Yeah, they sort of nullify each other a little bit, don't they? Sometimes you get that when it's an evenly matched fight and they're very similar. They almost counter each other out. Alexic. Getting the first knee away, but then Chester's coming straight back, so one for one before the referee splits them up. Yeah, a lot of the work is very even here. It's going to take somebody to change it up, do something different. having a little dance there. Ooh. Remember this one's scheduled for five rounds. So Alexic tries to let the hands go again. Just a little bit too close. Yeah, nice Snuck long by Chester. And that was a great kick. So good, good power. I do prefer Muay Thai, it doesn't matter, you just continue. <laughs> Suck it up, carry on. End of the round. Here we go then, round three. It's now the time to put the hammer down and impose yourself on this Muay Thai Grand Prix intercontinental title fight. Ryan Chester's in the red trunks, one check on Lexic in the white and black. Yeah, someone really needs to do something different now for me. Round three is where he steps up and Wojtek there just coming forward with the hands. But again, it's same same sort of stuff with these two. This is for an intercontinental title. I want to see someone really pull it out of the bag and give it everything. Oh, 
Alexic. He's trying to get an elbow away himself. He's been on the end of a couple of Ryan Chester's ones. Yeah, left elbow there from Alexic. Just trying to work in the clinch. Oh, coming in with that elbow again. Yeah, right elbow, better that time. Chester's just managed to get a left hand in there to put the brakes on it, but better work in the clinch there from Wojciech. Nice kick to finish. And that long knee of Chester's is really good. I don't know why he doesn't use it more. There. It's nice. Needs to continue that. That, for me, is a game-changer. Oh, lovely left elbow. Where's the long knee again? Comes in with the right elbow this time. Has opened up a little bit in this third round. Toe to toe here. It's a better fight when it's at range. Chester has to be careful ducking out of the clinch like that with his head forward. Trying to lead with that elbow that time, Chester's, but he's too far away. There's a cut there. I don't know if it was a clash of heads or if it was one of the elbows. I didn't really see. Yeah, above the right eye of Alexic. Chester's comes in with another elbow. It's not really snapping them away, but they're heavy blows. Yeah, just a little split on the eyelid there. It's not giving him any trouble at the moment. It's not bleeding into his eye, so it's fine. It's running down the side. It's not impairing the vision. That's when they become dangerous. If the cuts open up and start impairing your vision and the fighter can't... Penultimate round. Gone to work on that. Wojciech, Alexic cut. Posted it for the time being, but Chester's again wanting to get those elbows away. There's that long knee from Chester's, nice. Again, not doing it enough for me. Used to step in and knee every time. Good block. Step now and knee. Alexic takes him down. That knee again from Chester's. Alexa looks nice to box, so step forward and knee him. There it is. Needs to commit to it more, Chester's. Right elbow from Chester's again. Making his opponent miss and body kicking. That was better work from Chester's. And that elbow, that knee coming in again. Just under the ribcage. Just took a kick in return, though. Red corner shouting to Chester's to work your way in and don't let him load up his shots and I think they're right when you give him time Alexic comes with a hard shot Chester needs to be on top of him that's when he's doing better he's 
we head into the final minute of this round four. Alexic still trying to get those shots away, but the power doesn't seem to be bothering Chester's. Yeah, true. I don't think he's got the same sort of sting in his shots anymore. Both guys getting a bit fatigued. Even Chester's leg kick there didn't have the same sort of sting on it. This is the problem when you don't have the power left in your hands and feet anymore. Like Red Corner shouting to their man defend and score and I think that's the best idea if you haven't got the power to smash him then just make sure that none of his shots are landing clean on you and scoring and make sure you're picking up the points like that that was nice lean back and counter better work there from from Chester's of round four. Another good round there for Ryan Chesters. Fifth and final round. Last throw of the dice here for Wojciech Oleksic. Slip behind in this bout. Ryan Chester. It's on a good third and fourth round. Here's the time in between rounds. Enough to charge the batteries as Chester catches Oleksic on the way out. Still don't really feel like anybody's put their stamp on this fight, really. Nice work there from Alexic. He has got sharp hands. Chester's has defended well, though. It was a good combination of boxing and then finishing with a kick. Alexic landing with the knee and the clinch there and trying to get the elbow. But again, Chester's managing to ride that stalk. Just reminded by his corner to keep scoring. Nice evade encounter by Chester's again. No unorthodox uh, axe kick there. Which can sometimes be quite a good thing to throw something random in the mix in round five. As, as Alexic takes the back. <laughs> never noticed this little jumpy dance that Steve Broom does when he's breaking the clinch. I don't know, I've never seen that before. Let's see if he does it again. Well, he tries to, but then doesn't break because Alexic comes in. There's his little jump, look. <laughs> it's a better round from Alexic though. 30 seconds of this one to go. And this a difficult one to score. And throws punches in bunches, Alexic, but they're just bouncing off the gloves. Chester's with that high guard. Spinning back fist by Alexic, but he backs off. 
Chester's comes off the ropes. Good body kick there from Blue. Two tired men here. Final few seconds of this Muay Thai Grand Prix Intercontinental title bout. We're going oh. to the judges' cards. Both men raise their hands. Both men have staked a claim. The oh, highlight for me was uh, Steve Broom there. Unfortunately, he's not eligible for the title by virtue of the fact that there's no way 63.5 kilos. Definitely not. <laughs> Highlights of the fifth and final round. The best round of the fight for Wojciech Alexic. Perhaps felt that three and four got away from him.